Trying to get stronger, man. I want to get a muscle or two. You know, I don't want to get too big, though. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys are just way too muscular, man. I was watching the Olympics, man. I saw this guy. Uh, uh, he's doing a clean and jerk. I don't know if anybody saw this, but like you, this is where you grab the bar like this and you lift it up to your chest, right? And then you throw it over your head, right? And uh, he had so much weight up there, like his arm just gave out. And I was like, ah! And he was screaming like that, like a real strong bitch. Just, ah! You would think because he was an Olympian that he would sound different than a regular dude, you know what I mean? But he sounded just like any one of us and we got fucked up like, like ah! That's not even the worst thing that's ever happened in weightlifting, man. Seriously, I, uh, I, I saw a story a couple years ago about a guy that was trying to set a world record in the bench press. A world record. Had a thousand plus pounds on the bar. All right, a th I'm not even joking. A thousand plus pounds on the bar. Right? He's a big, scary looking guy. He's got all of his friends around. He's got photographers around right there. He's all hopped up on smelling salts and red bullets. Like, ah! 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 scary looking dude goes up to the bench. Ah! Ah! Buddies are smacking him on the back. You got this. You got this, man. Lays down on the bench. Rah! Rah! Grabs the bar. Rah! Rah! But you got this. You got this. He pushes the bar off the, off the bench. Right. Rah! Brings it down to his chest. And he goes to push up. Rah! And he's pushing. He's pushing. And, he, and he squeezes so hard that that his sphincter just shot right out of the socket. <laughs> That is too much weight. You hear what I'm saying? Like seriously, when Jack comes out of the box and won't go back in, like you have done something horribly, horribly wrong. You know what I mean? Like seriously, when this is this right here, like when your muffler is scraping the pavement, you have really got to think about what you set out to do for the day, okay? Like, now a lot of people hear that and they go, oh, that happened, blah, 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 in the story. No, no, that is not the end of the story. That is the beginning of a horrible day. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, when this, look, look, when, when the rabbit gets pulled out of the hat, like, doesn't matter what you had scheduled for the rest of the day, it gets rescheduled. You hear what I'm saying? Because seriously, this, oh my God, when you blow the back doors off the hinges, you have to seek immediate medical attention. Someone's got to call an ambulance. Your friends are all around. Somebody's got to make that call, seriously. Because when that happens, you want somebody to call an ambulance. But hopefully it's not that douchebag friend that thinks everything's a joke. You know, everybody has one of those guys. He's on the phone, like, Brrr. Yeah, hello? Yeah, uh, listen, uh, we are at the gym, and, uh, whoo! Uh, my buddy blew his asshole clean out of his body. It came all the way out. Yes. Uh, we are gonna need an ambulance and some toilet paper. It does not look good. Looks like, uh, have you ever turned a pillowcase inside out? It is horrible. How am I looking? Seriously. Looks like he has a tail. I don't know. I just sat around one day and tried to figure out all the different terms I could come up with for your asshole shooting out of your brain. Seriously though, that guy is the strongest guy I know. That guy is the strongest guy ever. You hear what I'm saying? Seriously, because I was lifting weights one time and like my neck started doing like something. Like, I was like, I gotta put this down. That guy, you know what? He said, fuck it. He shot an organ out of his body. You think you're strong. You have never done that. Ever. Can you imagine the pressure needed <laughs> to make that happen? Oh, man. He's getting a nickname he doesn't want. Every time he comes in, his buddy's like, oh, here comes back door Billy. Like, dude, I keep telling you my name is Steve. 